West 2 News starts now with breaking news. That breaking news, a tragic end to the search for a student missing on Lake Fairview in Orlando. Investigators confirming they found the body of the middle school rower that went missing after their boat capsized while practicing out on the water Thursday. The student was one of five that had gone overboard during the storms Thursday night. Lightning was detected nearby. One student was rushed to the hospital. West Houston tonight, Gavita Gettigas has been following the story since it first broke last night. And tonight, she is live tonight at the scene. What are you seeing out there, out there tonight? Guys, things are quiet now, but search crews were in full force for the past 24 hours, and it had a very emotional and heartbreaking end. What's now left behind are some of these flowers from people who stood by, held on to hope, hoping for the best as search crews, dive team, and other first responders worked tirelessly to try to find this student who was missing. The body was found on the lake at around 5.15 this evening. People have been stopping by throughout the day, dropping off their tokens of support outside the gate of North Orlando Rowing. We're told the student who was missing was one of five members of the rowing team that was, partic that was practicing on the water yesterday before sundown when there were reports of a lightning strike in the area. The boat capsized. One person was sent to Advent Health. The last three students were able to go home to their families. This was a team effort. First responders were on scene throughout the night since the call came in and spent the entire day searching. Orlando Fire and Police, Orange County Fire and Rescue, Orange and Seminole Counties, the Sheriff's offices all worked together. We also learned today that the student who was missing attended Annunciation Catholic Academy. The principal of that school sent out an email to families last night saying they would have extra counselors on the campus today to support students and staff. North Orlando Rowing declined to speak with us, but they posted this message on Facebook saying the rowers, their families and coaches of North Orlando Rowing are devastated. We are working through this as we always do as a team. We don't know all the details. When we know more, we will share. We ask for privacy and respect during this difficult time. And as far as that student who was sent to the hospital, we are waiting to learn about their condition. We're live in Orlando. Sinead Gavrigetigas, Wash 2 News.